Marcus Stroman comes into his first major league camp hungry. His dream of reaching the majors is now very much in reach, and a brief taste last spring training in a major league park gave him a glimpse of his future. I'm kind of walking out of that bullpen to run into the game it was kind of surreal at the time. Um, and being up there, I got, a, I got a little bit of a taste of it, and it's kind of what made me work harder to get there at some point, so that, that can be how, how it is every single game. Yet for Stroman, that game last March would be the last time he'd face live competition for months. A 50-game suspension for using a contained banned substance kept him away from the bright lights. Rather than competing at a high level, he was stuck in Dunedin working with minor league pitching instructor Dane Johnson. Yeah, it was tough. It was tough, but uh, <clears throat> I try to make the best at every situation, and nothing really gets me down. Um, you just have to kind of take things how they come and, and make the best out of them. So when I came back down here, I was very focused, and I knew what I wanted to do while I was down here. And I felt like I accomplished a, a, a ton of great things down here that kind of propelled me into my season. If there's something that can rattle you, like, like what happened in the suspension, uh, did he came in and got to work right away. No one had to tell him, no one had to uh, motivate him. Uh, Marcus found his own motivation and I think that that's from his uh, past, his upbringing. That upbringing that Dane Johnson is referring to started when Stroman was just five years old. His father went the tough love route, oftentimes having his young son do sprints uphill with a parachute in tow, all the while trying to teach his son a very valuable life lesson. Nothing good in life comes easy. I hated it. Um, <clears throat> it wasn't enjoyable at the time. Uh, me and my dad, we, were, we had a kind of a rough relationship my entire upbringing until I got a scholarship uh, to play baseball at Duke. Um, but now I look back at it and I, I thank him for it. Despite that work ethic, Strowman still has a camp of doubters. Those who are convinced that there's no way a kid standing just five foot nine can make it as a big league starter. I mean, height doesn't measure heart. It's kind of like my little, my little slogan that I live by, HTMH. And, uh, no, I enjoy it. I enjoy it. I enjoy being the, the person who goes against the stereotype. It makes it more fun. And you're not supposed to be doing something that people say you are. So when you do it, um, the reaction is usually more absurd, more obscene, and it's just fun to prove people wrong. And that's something Stroman has been doing on a daily basis since late last summer. Barry Davis, Sportsnet, Dunedin.